When you talk about the third eye, is it the sixth chakra of Pinda, or is it the first chakra after that? What is the seventh chakra that all yogi systems and spiritual paths talk about? That talk about that as the highest chakra to activate. Somebody asked me, why do you read the questions again? <laughs> I am not wearing my hearing aids. When he says, I don't know what he said. So I have to read it for myself. So it also is good I repeat the question. So I am aware of what the question is. Otherwise, when I'm not hearing, hearing something, I have to guess what this somebody is saying. Uh, when I first came to the United States, I didn't have a proper eyesight because I had got cataract surgery done. So I was wearing very thick glasses. They were monstrous looking. <laughs> People thought I was a monster <laughs> with those glasses. Without glasses, I couldn't see anything. Also, I couldn't understand the accent of the people. So I thought the best way to deal with the situation is say, yes, yes. <laughs> that was terrible. I gave such wrong answers. Now I've got hearing aids. I use them when I have to listen really. And I have got some contact lenses so I can read and hear. But I like to hear myself when I read the question, then give an answer. It was just an introduction why I read the second time. Okay. <laughs> when you talk about third eye, is it the sixth chakra of Pinda, or it is the first chakra after that? The third eye, we call it the eye, is behind these eyes. The two eyes and the area behind the eyes is the sixth chakra of the energy centers. The two eyes looking from behind, from that angle, is the first chakra of the astral plane. Great master once went to Karachi, in Pakistan, for a visit. And it was very nice. I also accompanied him. The reason why his visit was my uncle was working as a meteorologist, weatherman in Karachi. He had a big house on the beach, Clifton Beach. And he wanted Great Master to come and have a little break from his heavy duties and enjoy the some time there. So some of us accompanied him by train. It was a great journey. We took a long time to travel by train to Karachi. My uncle and aunt were, were disciples of Great Master, initiated by him. But locally, they had a Swami, Swami Brahmanand, who was an expert in teaching some kind of meditation of the six centers and pranayam, breathing exercises. And he was also very good in Ayurvedic medicine. My uncle and aunt were not interested in the meditation techniques. They were following the teachings of great master. But they were interested in the good Ayurvedic medicine he gave. So they used to go to the Swami, Swami Brahmananji, for Ayurvedic medicines. When they found great master agreed to come to Karachi, they went to Swamiji and said, Swamiji, our master is coming from Punjab, and we would like you to meet him. He said, certainly bring him. I will give my blessings to him. Now, that's not what they expected to hear. So they had to decide how to now meet the situation. So they decided that great master will be staying in our house. We will invite Swamiji for lunch. And they had a small sofa, love sofa. Only two people could sit on it. We'll make great master sit on it and Swamiji also sit on it. So on the appointed day, Swamiji came and they said, please sit down. We'll request great master to come. So Swamiji sat down. Great Master came, said, Master, please sit down. 
this is the Swamiji we talked to you about. So great master folded his hands like this. And Swamiji raised his hand on top of his head and said, I bless you. <laughs> he did what he promised. And we were watching the show. We said, we didn't know that great masters come here to get blessings from a Swami. As it happened, few minutes later, great master said, Swamiji, isn't it a pity that all the yogis and swamis are caught up in these six centers of energy, not realizing that the awareness and spirituality does not lie in them, but lies in the 12 chakras, the 12 centers inside of awareness. They don't realize there are 18 centers and they are all confined to the six centers. Swamiji said, Master, I have never heard of these 18 centers. I have only heard of these six centers. Where are these 18 centers that you talk of? He said, have you not heard that these six centers are pinda, physical. Then there are six centers of anda, of the astral areas. Then there are six centers of Brahmanda and Satchkanda. You never heard of it? He said, I never heard of it. Will you please explain to me in detail where these centers are? Great Master said, you know, it's a very long subject since you have never heard of it. It will take me a very long time to explain. I don't have that time here. But if you like to come to my headquarters, the Dera in Punjab, I'll certainly try to explain to you. And so they said lunchtime and they got up. And Swami Brahmananji said, This is something entirely new, never heard of it. Where are these 18 chakras? I only heard of six chakras. Sometimes people would say that the crown chakra might be the seventh chakra, but never these 18 chakras. Where are these lying? At night he could not sleep. He told my uncle next morning, I can't sleep. I have to find these 18 chakras. He wound up his ashram, told all his followers, I am closing this Ayurvedic shop, I am closing down my ashram, I have to go to Punjab, to this white bearded man who is talking of 18 chakras, I have to find out what they are. And he came there. He informed Great Master, I am coming according to your promise, I will come and learn about the 18 chakras. Great Master ordered, he should be lodged in the best guest house available in the Dera. He should be given VIP treatment. There should be attendants attending to him at all times. He should be give, served food, the best food we have. And he will sit with me during my discourses. And he will have access to me 24-7 if you want to see me anytime you can see. This kind of VIP treatment has never been given to anybody. Uh, we Sevadar were surprised. Why is Great Master giving so much attention to this man? But Swami Brahmanand came, he taken care of, he never had that experience before. Servant attending on him. And he therefore felt very happy. He used to wear saffron colored clothes, saffron, bagua color, and a saffron colored cap, and also a buffler, which he used to hold with his hands and walk with great stride. I still remember. Very nice and dark colored, but very bright eyes. I still remember his face very clearly. He would sit with next to great master. And master would say, these yogis and swamis have no idea what the truth is. They are confined to the six chakras of the energy and think that spirituality. And this man would look like this. After some days, Swami Brahmanand said, Master, I have a problem. Yes, Swamiji, what is your problem? My problem is that when you speak, I am sitting on your side. I have to keep my head turned all the time to listen to you. I have got a pain in my neck. Great Master said, I also noticed it. No, you should sit in front. So they said, place a special chair for Swamiji in front. So Swamiji began to sit in front. Because the stage used to be high, we had great master said. After a few days, Swamiji complained against. Master, I have a problem. 
Yes, Swamiji, what is your problem now? My problem is, my chair is right at the bottom and I have to keep my head up like this to listen to you. And I've got a pain in my neck. Great Master said, I also noticed it. Put the chair 20, 30 feet back in the middle of the audience. The chair was moved at the back. After a few days, he again said to Great Master, Master, I have a problem. What is your problem now? Master, problem is I want to listen to you attentively. But I notice people are sitting behind me and I'm blocking their view because I'm sitting in a chair. And it bothers me. I can't understand you fully. My botheration is about people sitting here. Great Master said, I also noticed it. Remove the chair. Let him sit like ordinary people. So gradually, gradually, he's sitting like anybody else. All of us became the same. All VIP tension finished. During those VIP days, he once wanted to test if Great Master was sincere in saying, you can see me anytime, 24 hours. He went after midnight. And the, all the doormen had been instructed, if Swamiji comes, he can come anytime. They said, certainly Swamiji come. And Great Master was woken up at night. Swamiji wants to see you. And so, Swamiji went in. Great Master was in his bed. He said, yes, Swamiji, what can I do for you? No, just wanted to say hello. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Good. Go to sleep. So he said, he means what he says. He is a sincere person. Begin to have faith in the man. Then he heard all about the higher planes of awareness. That the astral plane they are different centers. All the 12 centers are within this small area of the head. From the eyes to the top of the head, all the centers are there, backwards and upwards in the center. As he understood them better and better, he got initiated from Great Master for this practice. Great Master gave him a small little hut to practice his Ayurvedic medicine. So he got the Ayurvedic medicines. And I used to practice homeopathic medicine at that time. So Great Master had given me also a little place. It was next to his. So I was doing homeopathy, and we would sometimes sit together. Once I was sitting with Swamiji, after he lost the VIP status, and he told me, he says, your master is a very good diplomat. I said, what makes you say that? He said, if I had been treated like I'm being treated today, on day one, I would have gone back to Karachi. He gave me VIP treatment and made me feel so important. It was all my ego he was feeding. Today my ego has been crushed. But he has trapped me with his love. His love has trapped me. I can't go anywhere. I said that is how these perfect living masters work. Just giving you an example of the six centers and the centers of awareness. They lie differently. And the spiritual path is centers of awareness. I have practiced both, by the way. I have practiced the Kundalini awakening. I have practiced the attention on different centers. I have practiced different mantras used at different centers. And all it does is that you start by a wakeful state, go to a samadhi state at the bottom, and go step by step upwards and come back to where you started from. So the great master says, why do you have to go down in a building if you're already at the sixth floor, go up to the 18th. Don't have to go to zero to come back up. So therefore, start from here and go in the centers of awareness.